This is a patient who came with right scrotal pain, and we got an ultrasound to further evaluate these findings. Uh, grayscale images of both uh, testicles look within normal limits. While we start to get inferior to the right testicle, we start to see this complex mass with septations, low-level echoes, some thickened borders, some hyperemia around the periphery of it. We'll come back to that in a little bit as uh, we finish off looking uh, around the uh, testicle to look at the epididymis. The head of the epididymis looks uh, within normal limits. Um, and uh, there's a little cyst or spermatocele over there. As we start to get uh, to the body, and particularly the tail of the epididymis, we're starting to see that it's very thick and very heterogeneous. We start to see that collection again around the tail of the epididymis, and there's all this hyperema associated with it. And so these findings are highly concerning for epididymitis with an associated abscess uh, within the epididymal tail. Now, we had been following this for a few days, and it had been growing, and so we got uh, a, scrotal, a scrotal MRI to further evaluate uh, these findings, which we don't do often, but it also shows these findings very nicely. On the T2 axial fat satted image, inferior to the right testicle, you can see that complex collection with uh, thickened borders, some hyperintense to intermediate T2 signal within it. On the T1 post-contrast images with fat sat, you can see there's a uh, uh, thickened, uh, hyper-enhancing peripheral rim associated with it. We also did diffusion wave images in this case, and you can see beautifully on the um, high B value images, the abscess is hyper intense. It's hypo intense on the ADC images as would be expected for an abscess. And so this is a nice uh, case of an epididymitis with an associated abscess seen on both ultrasound and MRI.